Democrats and Republicans. What are they and what do they believe? Who are these people? So it's very interesting. So I've got this. Uh, Democrats are normally international, global thinking. A lot of times they support the UN. Uh, Republicans really don't like the UN and are more nationalistic. Uh, Democrats believe in individual morals. Individuals can determine what's right and wrong. It's not the same for everybody. Uh, Republicans have national morals where it's all a lot of times through religion, but there's a, definitely a moral way to do it. Democrats believe in change, where Republicans are more traditional. Um, Democrats typically stress domestic emphasis, like Bernie Sanders right now is all about the economy, 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 and then you look at Rubio and Cruz and everybody else, it's more about the foreign affairs and the military. Um, Democrats would be brotherhood and community, and the Republicans more individual responsibility. Democrats favor a larger government, Republicans smaller and limited government. Democrats like capitalism, but they think it should be a fair marketplace, and Republicans think it should be free market. Um, the other words are just or fair capitalism versus pure capitalism. So this is just an overall ideas on the terms. Now let's look at the views. There is pro-choice on Democratic side, pro-life on Republican. Democrats gun control and background checks where Republicans don't like those issues. They want limited gun regulations. Democrats believe in diplomacy and just like the Iran treaty uh, or the Iran uh, negotiations where Republicans are looking military to solve issues and uh, use the military to do things. Democrats believe in the separation of church and state and Republicans use religion and it's more important their decisions. Democrats are tax the rich and higher taxes. Republicans are less taxes or a flat tax. Uh, Democrats support public schools, um, and Republicans like charter schools, vouchers, homeschooling. Democrats are more into the environment and actually doing something about it, whether it's renewable energy, recycling, um, cap and trade. Uh, Republicans support oil and gas, the coal industry, present industry, because they think it would destroy jobs if you go into the renewables. Democrats, in general, are right to privacy and civil rights, where Republicans believe safety is more important to protect the citizens. Um, Democrats believe in the de against the death penalty. They believe in getting rid of it, where Republicans want the death penalty. They're very pro. Um, re Democrats, if they're seen as soft on crime, and Republicans are tough on crime, three strikes, you're out. Um, mandatory sentences. Uh, Democrats on immigration believe in a pathway to citizenship and want to um, encourage immigration, where Republicans are basically want to secure the border, stop illegal immigration, stop the border, and having no pathway to citizenship. Just in looking at who are the people, uh, Democrats are typically younger, they're poor, they're more women, minorities, blacks, uh, Hispanics, Asians. Um, they're non-religious. Um, they do are religious. There, you could see some, but it might be Protestant groups like Episcopalian, Presbyterian, uh, Jewish, or typically Democrats, and also Catholics. Um, urban. So in the cities, you'll see a Democrat. They're less educated. A lot of times, you'll see them on the West Coast and the Northeast. Republicans typically are older. They're richer. They're the top of the line. They're normally men. They're white versus minorities. They're Protestant and sometimes evangelical. They're very religious. Um, they're rural, seen more in that area, so Midwest and South. Um, they're educated and they're found in the Southwest, South and Midwest. Um, so that's the differences between the Democrats and the Republicans. And uh, hopefully by the end of this class, you'll be able to notice and we can describe what is a Democrat, what is a Republican, and you can figure out which they are. So I might give you some characteristics, and then you can say, oh, yes, that's a Democrat, or that's going to be a Republican. You know, the issues, the voting. So after you've done all the research, all you have to see is the R or the D and say, hey, I'm going to vote for that person. I know what that person is. So hopefully this was very helpful for you.